Hola! Hola amigos y amigas! Me llamo Emma, soy de Finlandia, pero vivo en Irlanda. That's my Spanish. Mi favorito programa de televisión es La Casa de Papel. So, welcome back to my channel. I am working from home these days, so I have ordered a desk. And um, yeah, I thought in this video we could basically el escritorio ensamblar yo, something like that. So yeah, I have ordered a desk and it has arrived. And yeah, I thought we could, you know, put it together. Yeah, I also ordered a chair, but the chair hasn't arrived. That's inconvenient. I have like a kitchen chair here. I'm at my friend's house, hence the baby blue room. And yeah, I will be working from home from here for a while. I thought we could ensamblar the desk. And then I will also give you a little bit more details of like why I left Australia and my experience in Australia. So yeah, let's see what happens. I've been watching the new season of La Casa de Papel and I think I can habla español. Vamos, venga. I will get some tools. Okay, I got one of these, so let's see. Let's see what the instructions are. This should be kind of easy, so. Oh, it says 10 minutes to do this in two people, but great. I was just talking without my microphone being on. So anyway, I wanted to, <laughs> um, you know, talk about the whole Australia stuff. So basically, yeah, um, kind of Australia wasn't kind of what I, you know, <sighs> thought it was going to be. Kind of was a little bit underwhelming and you know don't get me wrong because it was still an amazing experience and um, I was really sad to leave because everything kind of happened really fast and I didn't have time to process and then you know the current situation and then me starting a new job so yeah I, I was just saying that I need to google this because I don't know if these go together like this, you know, or if the circular metal part thingy is supposed to go underneath the, the metal. It's not really clear on from the instructions, so I need to Google that. Yeah, it's been kind of weird being back as well because I haven't been able to, you know, see anyone like any of my friends, apart from the, my friend who I live with now. So yeah, I guess like, you know, being in Australia, I was maybe a little bit less exotic than I had originally kind of thought or the image that I had in mind. And it was still kind of very, almost like regular, uh, apart from like all the, the animals and the weather. You know, Australia doesn't really have their own culture the same way that, you know, I don't know, like Italy or France or even the Nordics, <laughs> you know, have kind of their own kind of thing. You know, of course the surf culture and stuff like that, but I don't know if that makes sense. My purpose was kind of to go and live in Australia and it kind of turned out to be just you know, traveling around. Also, I had a hard time of uh, meeting new people and that's totally on me. I was just kind of like, almost like not in the mood, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain that, but I was kind of missing my actual friends back at home, you know, back in Ireland. So, and um, that's kind of me not being very social. I did meet one friend in Sydney, um, a Swedish girl, Erika, and we did travel together just kind of hanging out in Sydney and I did go to Erle Beach and did the boat tour for two nights with her and also I did five days in the Cairns with her as well. And also like, and kind of, you know, I love the aspect of traveling, but I actually don't like pack packing. Pack packing, I can't ever pronounce that. But you know, the when I was traveling with my boyfriend, when he came there to visit me for one month and carrying my suitcase, like all the time and even you know before that you know when I was kind of changing locations in Sydney and, and like carrying everything it's just like I hate that it's so annoying and I feel kind of bad you know saying that even because you know kind of everybody always have has this dream about like traveling like oh it's amazing it's freedom like this is something you should aim for but they don't tell you the kind of 
uh, annoying parts of it, which would be, you know, the fact that you need to like, you're living out of your suitcase, you're packing all the time, you know, it's kind of uncomfortable, you're staying in like weird places, but I think people just kind of sell the dream differently and yeah <laughs> and yeah and also the fact that you know no one really talks about you know being lonely i guess it's different for people who are super extroverted and they always always like find it easy to talk to people and make new friends but then like me i'm an introvert and i don't drink alcohol i don't go out it was kind of more challenging to not feel lonely but again that's totally on me because you know i felt kind of that it Oh, like didn't want to make the effort also so can't really complain on that yeah and also like you know it almost you know when you see so many places all the time and you know it's constant change it kind of loses its magic a bit as well because for me it's not super important to experience these cool things by myself and have nobody to share it with so you know the kind of motivation of like going to the next place and then the next place that's more amazing like amazing views and it's this and that it becomes like less magical because all i wanted was to experience it with someone like my friends or my family and you know even the small little things that you know hanging out at your friend's house and kind of doing nothing like and laughing at a stupid joke was something that I started to kind of miss a lot more than you know the motivation of seeing new places if that makes sense and and also saying that like I mean I've done things by myself so you know in the past so this is not like a thing that you know I wanted to learn to be like independent and stuff like that because I've already done that actually for me it would be more important to experience things with someone you know and not always doing things by myself so yeah I guess the best times were when my boyfriend was there for one month and we traveled together and then when I was traveling with Erica you know but yeah anyway when it was time to kind of leave it was still weird, you know, I, in a way, as a person, I, as a person, of course I'm a person, <laughs> but, you know, it always kind of feels that I'm not ready to, you know, do something. And I, yeah, like I said, I kind of haven't processed the whole thing yet of being back. Um, obviously, it's, this situation is affecting it because it's not a normal life situation. So, because I haven't even been in Dublin yet. But also, the whole Australia experience was weird because, you know, I was there for the, fir the first, the worst fires that Australia has almost like ever had, or had in a while at least. And then the whole pandemic episode crisis, you know, happened. So, it was scary as well and being there and not having like my you know my support network was really tough on me as well so and it was kind of a lot of anxiety around everything so yeah so i guess that was kind of bad timing with all of those kind of things happening in the world but also in a way it was a good timing that you know i got to go to Dublin before, you know, borders were closed and stuff like that. So in a way it was still a good timing to come right now. So it kind of worked out in the end anyway. Yeah, let's get this um, thing sorted. Okay, we have progressed um, to this one. So I actually just called my boyfriend and asked about these screws. Cause I actually didn't know how to Google that, so. He said that to put them on top, I don't know if that's right, but it's okay. And hopefully the other one is like straight as well. So, I don't know how wrong you can go with this, but I guess there's only one way to find out, am I right? I guess I didn't need this guy at all, so it just ended up being my prop. <laughs> okay, so we have attached this and um, I guess I am ready to flip it. 
Let's see how this is going to go. I don't feel very confident. The struggle is real, y'all. Yay! Cool, 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 cool. Now, it's finished. So, this is my desk. Oh, I think there's already a mark there, but I guess it's fine. Just have to clean this. Yeah, so. Oh, my battery is dying, so anyway, this end up being just a prop. No digas tonterias. And um, that's kind of like my Spanish. There was more that I wanted to do, like all the songs I know in Spanish. Bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. So I guess this is everything for it now. Just wanted to give you an update. You know, we built this together. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing to my channel. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. So boom, boom, ciao.